KM6SR. Good evening there, Bill, AA6S, and uh, Aaron, KA6USY. Yeah, good evening, Rob. Good evening, Rob. Good evening, Aaron. More like a shotgun, my friend. Yeah, a big baseball oh, bat. How you doing, Dave? K6VBG, KM6SR. Well, I'm 
I'm doing a, about the same, Rob. I'm still here. Roger, you survived the, the class last night. Boy, that really got my mind spinning over. Yeah, we're going to have fun passing that. Yeah, that's for sure. Hey, I got to go down and feed the cats and uh, grab a little bite myself, so I'm going to be AWOL for a little bit there. KM6SRR. KM6SRR, A6S. The cats rule, just remember that. Yeah, that, that's the old saying, pussy rules, over. That's right. <laughs> and good evening, Aaron. How are you doing? Oh, hanging in there. Uh, looking forward to spring break starting here and uh, being able to sleep in a little bit. Now, Roger, that should be your busy time, though. No, because I'll... Uh, I'll still be at uh, I'll still be at work and the uh, the kids will be over at Nana's so yeah the uh, yeah next two weeks will be interesting and then it's off to Texas for the eclipse. Oh, that's fun. That's lots of fun. <laughs> there you go, eclipse chasing, huh? never been in the path of totality for a total solar eclipse, and this is the last one until like 2046 in North America, so it, 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 it's worth the trip. Okay, uh, roger that. So you say uh, roger, yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. It's fun to watch. Then we got we got friends in the Dallas Dallas uh, Fort Worth area, so and we're gonna hit a couple of national parks on the way back. So yeah, you know, we're we're making the best of it. Cool. Well, it sounds like a, you got a good trip all planned out. Yep, it'll uh, it'll just be fun to see how many other people are also driving to Texas for this thing. So it's gonna be interesting. There will be a lot. You know, usually when they do that, there a lot of people come out of the woodwork. Yeah, yeah. Well, and one of the reasons why we're driving it is so that we don't have to deal with, with flying. But uh, we know the closer we get to Texas, the uh, higher the chances are that there's going to be a lot more people heading in that direction. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I know that that might be a place for you to look to move. Um, we've contemplated it. I I'm not completely sold on Texas. No, yeah, no. It all depends on the next next year. Yep, exactly. We'll see what happens. If we got to deal with another four years of this nonsense, then we'll just accelerate my plans. Exactly. Exactly what I'm thinking. Yeah. It can't get a whole lot worse, but yes, it can. Well, Kilo 6, Victor Bravo Golf. Dave, you sound like you're feeling a little better. KG6 CES. Well, good evening, Daryl. You know, I don't know. How you doing tonight? I don't know if I'm feeling better or if it's just one of my peaks. You never know. Well, at least you're not cold out in the shack tonight. It's not as cold out here, you're right. I am out in the shack. I do have oxygen on, but, you know, like I say, it might just be one of my peaks there, Daryl. Okay. All right, well, we'll uh, look for you Aaron, tonight, really loud. So oh, we will see. Six I think it was just uh, you and uh, Ron on Sunday? It was just me. Oh, well, you know, see? You didn't even need to bother with it. Oh, well, if hi. you want to quit bothering How with it, you? it's all right. Hard, huh? Yeah, I think we need to have a conference. And we, that, for that to happen, we need to have Dan involved. Oh, cool. Well, All right. We well, you got a good signal signal a, here. So what kind of a, a beam does he have up there? Yeah, well, you never know. He doesn't necessarily stick around for more than a, a minute or two anyways. Yeah, I, I don't know. 
I mean, I know what I want to think, but I don't want to go there. No, I know. Dave up in Sonora in the background. Yeah, any success. I can hear guys in the background probably coming from uh, Nevada there. Uh, any success. Yeah, I heard Nevada CW. Well, it's good. I'm off the side of your antenna, but okay. Well, I'm going to stand by. i got a bunch of guys talking here. I mean, I'm hearing a little something myself. Sounds like somebody out there. Well, there, there's Dave, at LOL, up in Sonora was in there, and then I'm hearing CW from Nevada, so I think everyone's waiting for Mikey. K6USY, DMO6. You, uh, you have a smoking hot signal up here tonight, very loud. Oh, very good, Dave. Yeah, you're like S6 down here right now, but uh, yeah, just running my normal 100 watts in a whole loop. Oh, it's doing it, yeah. And then uh, the CW from Nevada is very loud tonight, so interesting. We'll, we'll see how the conditions go. I checked the, uh, the Tehachapi beacon earlier, and I could barely hear it. So conditions down to the south horn is good, but I don't know. We'll see what happens as the uh, sun keeps setting. I can hear, it sounds like Dennis uh, up north talking to somebody, too, up there. I thought maybe it was Southern California bleeding through, but uh, it, 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 that audio, it's, uh, it definitely sounds like Dennis up north there. Yeah, we'll see where Mikey is. I know he, uh, he made it out to the barn to get the radio turned on because his radio is on. I'm connected to it right now, but uh, he, he must have gotten stuck in the kitchen eating a cookie. Um, yeah. <laughs> we'll just stand by here. K6 US Life. We'll wait for his his whistle. Yeah, instead of doing the whole QST QST and starting the net, you know, he's just he just rings the whistle. Uh, KY, are you hearing uh, Aaron down there? All right. Well, you probably hear Mike and WA6LOL. Yeah. KC5DTU712. WA6AAJ727. KA6S800. Six USY 1079. You're going to have to learn shorthand there, Mike.
Yeah, good evening, Kerry. Uh, you've been kind of quiet, Kerry. I thought you would be. There's probably some stuff to talk about. There's some very, very uh, ordinary stuff uh, showing up. Uh, CIA uh, collusion stuff and all that kind of crap. Not to mention the some other things. So the, the the trial thing in uh, New York is just being ornery for. It's such a stupid nothing thing. And that's getting to give him the biggest grief, it seems like. I don't know. I think he's he's handling it. Anyway, good evening. Uh, let's see. Let me go down the list here. Uh, uh, Dave, uh, you were talking to somebody. Who were you talking to? Oh, yeah, Mike. Uh, we have Twain Hart in here tonight. I and, was. Uh, but he's running a I was talking to Aaron and we're nine foot long. Daryl and, and <laughs> but it's, uh, got anybody else out here? And so uh, I, I don't know. Uh, Hang on, Dave. I have to wait till you turn your antenna up towards Sacramento to hear you. But anyway, uh, Twain Hart, you want to see if are, are you hearing Mike? Okay, well, if you're just barely hearing Mike's 1500, then then uh, he's probably not hearing you. So you may hear him uh, later on uh, when he uh, as he comes around from the south through the Bay Area and up to uh, Sacramento. That'll probably be about half an hour. Okay, go ahead, Mike. There, uh, he's hearing you barely at this point. Uh, K6MYC WA6LOL. Okay, WB6 GBS. GGY, sorry, WB6 GGY. I'm copying. Uh, I can hear him. I can't read him. So even with his low power, uh, I can hear him in there, but he, it's not readable. But I'm pointed away from him. I'm pointed down the San, San Joaquin Valley here. I'll come around in a little bit, and you'll start to hear bits and pieces of me. And of course, if you can get the wife, tell him, uh, Dave. Uh, Dave, take a break. Uh, WA6 LOL. Tell him to. Uh, Get the wife to live stream that. That way he knows well, who I'm, what I'm saying, and who I'm talking to, and when to pay attention. There, over. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, if you uh, watch the live stream, there, Mike is aimed south right now, so not really toward Twain Heart, but he will be coming around. But you can listen to YouTube, which is uh, the Bozo Nets with an S um, on YouTube, and then it'll bring up the uh, live stream, and uh, or you can go to BozoNet, uh, the uh, website, the BozoNet website, and there's a hot link to it. Um, but anyway, you can uh, listen to that, and then you'll be able to tell when he's coming around. And he can hear you barely, so that's pretty good. When he comes around uh, to uh, Sacramento a little bit later on, uh, after he goes from the south through the Bay Area to the west, he'll come up north. And uh, since he can hear you a little bit, you guys will be good to go, I think. So anyway, that's what he wanted me to tell you. You go to the live stream on YouTube, and you'll be able to hear what's going on. K6MYCWA6LOL. Okay, thanks, uh, Dave. I'm going to have to be careful here. we got two Daves in here right now, Dave, K6BBG, and WA6LOL. So, uh, Dave, <laughs> K6BBG, why don't you take one quickly? Over. All right, Mike. Oh, no, I just... Uh... Yeah, we had class last night, and yeah, we're looking at the book and trying to figure it out. That's about it. Trying to feel better. Oh, okay. Uh, feel better about your your uh, learning, or, or feel better physically? About trying to stay alive. Okay. Uh, you were you've been going to the doctor pretty regular. What what are they doing for you? Well, seems like nothing. So I, I I don't really know. Um, you know. I've had a doctor's appointment every day this week so far, and I'll have more the rest of the week also. So yeah, who knows? Yeah, they're doing all kinds of tests, and that's about it. They really don't know, and it's like a my standing uh, blood oxygen levels in the 70s. So just sitting here doing nothing. I hear you. Well, sorry about that. Uh, you're on oxygen. Um, even with oxygen, you're only getting to 70, or do you have to get stay on oxygen in order to get above 70? Um, 
when I put the oxygen on, it gets up to about 80. That's about it. Okay. Well, that's some improvement anyway. Okay, very good. Yeah, what a pain. <laughs> I'm glad you were able to sit in the class, so, and not feel too bad. Anyway, good evening to you, and uh, up to you, Daryl, correctly, at KG6, Charlie Echo Fox. Uh, how are you doing? Oh, he's in and out. No, no, I was in the kitchen. Matter of fact, I left the water running. Who is N6SWR? I hear you, Ben. Just hang on one second. Well, while he went to turn the water off, why don't you take it, uh, Ben? W uh, N6 Sugar Whiskey Radio N6SWR. Take it, K6MYC. Over. Good evening, Mike. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry I'm late to the party tonight. I was busy talking with some guests tonight and completely forgot it was Wednesday evening. But I'm here now for the duration of the uh, of the net. Thank you very much. N6SWR, back to net. Yeah, well, you're not late. I hadn't even turned to uh, call you yet, so you're not uh, doing too bad. I was a little late myself. I walked in here right at 7.30 or 7.31, so I'm starting a little bit later than normally. Normally I'm here at 25 or so after the hour, but I was late too. So anyway, good to hear you. Good signal. I haven't heard Rob yet. Rob, are you here? Roger, Roger. How you doing, Ben? N6SWR, KM6SRR. I'm doing very good, Rob, and uh, hope you're doing well as, as as can be expected anyway. Over. Roger, Roger. Got the cats fed, and I'm feeding myself right now, so we're all fine. There. Thanks, Mike. Okay, very good. And uh, Bill's in here. Hey, Bill, would you tell me if you worked uh, um, uh, K6TSK and uh, K6ZMW last night on, four th on 1296? Bill, over. Okay. Yeah, Roger, AA6S, back here. Uh, I worked uh, Ralph, but uh, Joe wasn't on. Uh, Ralph had a good signal, so we worked each other, and, and then they went to whatever they were doing there. So the rest of the net but anyway no problem and uh, LOL is super strong here in Visalia they're very very strong from uh, WA6 LOL there anyway back to you there Mikey K6MYC A6S okay very good Bill thanks for that I'm surprised that Joe wasn't there I wrote Joe in I wrote them both in on the log just on the outside chance they'd be there, but I, I and I figured they would be, but I, I, I'll just I have to run a line through uh, Joe there for that net anyway. Uh, and that's for you, Aaron, if you uh, <laughs> wanted to update your log. We didn't uh, remember to get the check-ins that Bill had. K6TSK, Bozo number three. Check-in on, uh, on 1296 last night. Let me see here, Carrie. Um, uh, uh, we should uh, chat on the phone here in the next uh, uh, little bit. I don't know if you've got time tonight after the net. Maybe you can give me a jingle. Otherwise, tomorrow there's some stuff that uh, is bug bugging me that we ought to talk about. Over uh, K6MYC, KC5DTU, Roger, Roger. Uh, uh, it'll be better for me in the morning uh, after I leave, uh, get done with the net here. I've got a couple of things to get done, so I'll get you in the morning. Roger, that'll be great. Okay, we'll talk to you then. KC5, DT. All right, good to hear you. We missed you on uh, 4 1296 last night. Of course, you must have been busy the last couple of nights. We haven't heard you. I was in class last night, and uh, Monday night I was there, but uh, you had the antenna pointed, pointed the other way, so I just uh, uh, sat there and uh, just was the fly on the wall. So, but uh, I was there Monday, and uh, last night was class. Well, I can always hear you off the back. Did you try to call in? A negative. I just uh, I just uh, monitored the net, the net and uh, and uh, uh, just sat there silently. I was doing chores in the shack also. Okay. Well, you can always check in. It doesn't hurt. I'll hear you. I can even if I don't have time to respond with any um, sensible comment. At least I'll let you know that I hear you. 
I'll just say I got you, uh, uh, Carrie. That's you en enough to know that I've got you and you're written in log. So do that. That way uh, we, we at least know you're, you're uh, uh, present and accounted for. <laughs> All righty. Good deal. We'll see you. We'll look for you in the morning, too. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm sure we've got some others, and I kept hearing a couple little voices in there. Let me just check once, however, for uh, Rick. KB6RQU, we're pointed down that way, hoping that we hear from Rick one of these days. KB6 Radio Queen United, KB6RQU, K6MYC. Are you around tonight, Rick? <laughs> Nothing from Rick. Uh, have you made any headway connecting with anybody up that way, uh, Ben? I'm sorry, go ahead again. I said, have you made any headway connecting up with anybody in Lake Isabel to check in on uh, Rick? No, I'm sorry, I have not. It's been quite busy at work. I'll attempt tomorrow in 6SWR. Well, I'm not pushing. I'm just, I was just curious more than anything. If I don't say anything, it means I've forgotten it, and I don't want to forget Rick. I'm kind of anxious to hear that he is or isn't going to be checking in regularly. He certainly hasn't been regular at all. Since he stopped, he stopped uh, with a switch off, boy. <laughs> so I don't know whether he's going to be back or or what's going on there. I'm trying to get some, some kind of an idea if there's anything that we could do to help him out. Anyway, thanks for uh, uh, thinking about it. Tomorrow, maybe you get a chance to uh, poke around a little bit. Don't uh, don't kill yourself. Just uh, if it's easy and you have time, take uh, take a moment. Thanks uh, for that, uh, Ben. Is there anybody else down south, like? W6PYP uh, uh, in Visalia. Are you here tonight, uh, uh, Greg? Nothing from Greg. How about uh, uh, what's going on with your buddy there, Mike? Uh, WA6AAJ. Are you in here, Mike? Yes, sir. I checked in. Oh, you did. I just. Oh, I did get you in here. Yeah, you were the you were the one I didn't get a call sign written down for. <laughs> I wrote your number in, but I have a blank space next to it because I didn't know what I wrote. No problem. Good evening, Mike and the net. W6BBS72. Okay, good evening, Frank. And uh, to you, Mike, are you feeling uh, better? Uh, Bill said you've been working on so many projects, you're worn out. Uh, I guess you could say it that way. <laughs> um, I'm getting there. What are these home projects or shack projects or antenna projects? What are you doing? Uh, I, I've just been uh, trying to clean up the shop and uh, getting crap off the shelves, and uh, so then my back started acting up, and I've kind of backed off of that. Yeah, this is the season for backs, I think. Uh, Frank was in the chiropractors this morning, and his wife, Jen, got in the night before, but they... They had a terrible time getting in front of the chiropractor because the, the lady in the chiropractor's office said that it's the, the, the wildest week they've ever seen. They got so many people coming in with with uh, bad backs and, and 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 stuff like that. It's just uh, been a rash of it. So you're uh, you're not alone, Mike. Well, that's good not to be alone. <laughs> well, I think you'd rather be in another crowd, wouldn't you? Oh yeah, no, I um. I've had issues with my uh, rotator cuff, my back, and my neck, and um, uh, if it isn't one of those, uh, it's two of those. So anyway, it's no big deal. Yeah, trade them in and get replacements. Uh, they, I hear they're going on sale next week. Yes, sir. That's, uh, that would help. <laughs> okay. Very good. Who else do we have in here that I've forgotten or skipped over? K6MYC Bozo Net. Yes, we got everybody. Rob, uh, how was your day? Oh, it was going pretty good. Uh, busy day at work. Lots of lots of things going on that need in a hurry as normal. And uh, I can vouch for uh, Kerry. He was at the uh, uh, class last night. He was on my right side, and Dave was on the left side. So I was in perfect uh, company. Over. Oh, okay. <laughs> You were a ham sandwich, huh? Yeah, we all had that blank look on our face wondering, what's Ken talking about, over? <laughs> yeah, it'll come clear in a minute. All right, very good.
Uh, for you, uh, uh, Aaron, um, K6USY, I uh, picked a bunch of miner's lettuce today, took it in and washed it, got it all cleaned up, and had my grandson prepare it, and we had minor lettuce salad tonight. It was uh, It's actually very bland. It has no character at all. You don't know you're eating it, but of course it's very green, and I'm sure it's very nourishing. It has lots of vitamins in it, but it doesn't have any flavor at all over. Oh, interesting. So most most people would probably dr uh, drench it in dressing or something like that. And uh, I did get um, I did get Rob checked in last night. He came in late after he got home, and I added him to the uh, bottom of the list before I sent off the email. So uh, Rob was officially checked in last night. Yeah, good. I think I put him down as well, and I'll have to cross off uh, uh, K6NMW, but I think I did write Rob and, and, uh, and uh, K6TSK in there because I knew he'd be checking in. All right, good. Thanks for that. Well, the miner's lettuce is good, like you say. Well, the lettuce mostly doesn't have much flavor anyway. There's only a few kind of lettuces and things you eat in a salad that have any particular uh, um, flavor. You know, you're eating it because it's roughage, and it's it's also got some nice vitamins and greens in it. And I think uh, miner's lettuce is the same way, but I had a huge crop of it. We've got saved some. I, I brought in a great big cardboard box full, <laughs> and I washed it all carefully, and I... I've covered it uh, after I I washed it off. I covered it with uh, damp towels, paper towels, so it stays fresh. And we're going to save some till Matt gets home on Friday, hopefully, and let him try it too. I've got more out there, but uh, this happened to be uh, the place that it grows the best. I've never seen it grow any better. It's right underneath my Buckeye in the front yard. So I've got an automatic garden out there when I when and if I <laughs> take advantage of it. All right, so much for uh, dinner and uh, condiments and whatever. Anybody else before we look over toward uh, Tascadero and see if Ron is going to join us tonight? Uh, Ron, are you copying me in this direction? W6QUI-K6MYC. Uh, you better give him a call, uh, my, uh, uh, Bill. Yeah, Roger, I'm coming around to 240. W6QUI, W6QUI, AA6S, you're round, Ron, uh, W6QUI, able, able, six, sugar, over, over. It might help to talk on the right side of the microphone, though. <laughs> W6QUI, W6QUI, AA6S. Not hearing anything, Mikey. I wonder what's going on over there. He's missed uh, several in a row now. I don't know. I hope he's okay. What was that? I say, I hope he is okay. Yeah, same here. Hopefully he didn't get uh, COVID or something from over there. Weather's been fine. I can't, you can't blame it on weather. I'll bring the antenna around a little bit better so we can hear each other better. That's all right. You you had uh, you had kind of that valley echo that we get if you. Uh, I, we used to have fun on this band. Uh, Mel and I, uh, K6KBE, uh, uh, would uh, we would we drove down to LA one time to pick up some radios. We had just picked up the uh, uh, FDK line of of products from Japan, uh, and uh, we were picking up some multi 2000s. It was uh, one, 100 one, uh, FT, one, uh, not FT, uh, multi-2000 sitting on the uh, dock in Los Angeles, and uh, they were waiting to be paid. <laughs> Somehow, Ed J., who was a con, a con artist, had talked to Japanese into shipping the radios without being paid, and then he disappeared, and he went away, never to be seen again. And he was selling them, and he was really knocking the crap out of us because we had a crummy little radio, and Multi 2000 was a beautiful little multi mode uh, two meter sideband radio. And so uh, we had a chance to buy them. That's another story in itself. I'll tell you that in another e evening, but uh, how we learned about how we could get them. So Matt and uh, Mel and I jumped in the car, but at the time I had an egg beater on the back of the car, and we had, uh, we had two antennas on the car. I think we had a vertical and, and the egg beater. And uh, Mel threw his 160-watt uh, amp and his transceiver in the car, and I had mine in the car. 
And so we, we picked up the microphones and we were talking into both microphones at the same time, transmitting on vertical and horizontal simultaneously into two radios on the mobile. And the guys in Los Angeles heard us coming down on Highway 5. And they said, that is the weirdest sounding signal we've ever heard. Oh. <laughs> That's wild. But it had, the, uh, it had the valley flutter because we were radiating in all directions, but also all polarity. So it was really weird. 226 is here. Thing, uh, Mikey, this is about, uh, I want to go back probably 45 years ago. I was on six meters and got a card from some guy. Got you, Ken. Uh, SB 110 in his car on on highway highway five there or whatever it was. Asked him why I didn't answer him. I never heard him. I was running the six over six at 100 feet with a four one thousand at full smoke. Uh, no wonder he heard me. I go ahead. Yeah, uh, and he, you didn't hear him from the mobile, huh? <laughs> Not hardly. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, well, I understand. <laughs> Sometimes you would hear him, but of course he probably was vertical on top of everything else, huh? No, he had a he had a halo on. I mean, a Saturn halo according to the card, but uh, uh, he wasn't making it over the hill like I was, I guess. Yeah, wild. Well, we've had some really strange uh, uh, mobile contact with uh, very funny sounds going up and down Highway Five when you run power. At one point, I put I had 350 watts in the car, and I ran a stacked pair of of whole loops. And my God, the the echoes and the and the funny sounds that we would get up and down the valley would be really weird. You know, you could be 20 over nine, you could barely understand the guy. It sounded like a rural flutter. <laughs> I used to talk to a guy on a Mayflower van or something. He ran a generator and a thing with a full kilowatt. I'd talk to him when he leaves the Bay Area. <laughs> He's rock solid all the way down, down to L.A. I can believe that over the water. Yeah, wonderful. Okay, Ken's in here, WA6OIB. We're, we're kind of talking toward the Tascadero, thinking we could uh, talk uh, QUI to getting onto the band, but no such luck. So we're about ready to go to Monterey, Ken. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. Well, 10-meter net's going to start in a few minutes, so I'll, um, I'll I'll head for Monterey right now and maybe uh, check with a couple of those guys, and then I'll have to bail out uh, for a bit. So I'll be back. WA6OIB, and good evening down there. Yeah, good. Did you ever get a chance to listen to your your signal on the uh, streaming replay? You sound clearer here and the same basic radio and everything. That's why I'm thinking... Uh, I don't think I was making up or it was not being generated in my radio. But uh, anyway, I don't know if you had a chance to take a listen for it. No, I haven't. No, uh, just too many things going on. I can't imagine. <laughs> Teaching a class is, is a big effort in itself, just, uh, just that alone. All right, no worries. All right, one last check, W6QUR or KN6EIV. Anybody over there in Tascadero, K6MYC in the Bozo Net? Hey, Mike, uh, going over to 10 meters, K6USY. Roger, roger. Hey, I talked to Ron, I called him on the phone, and he's just really been busy. That's why he hasn't been on. Oh, uh, QUI? Yeah. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you for that. Okay, let's go to Monterey, people. I'm pointed at Monterey. <laughs> yeah, KW6S, KW6S, you're out AA6S, KW6S. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, hearing you in, in a real good shape here. Success, KW6S. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, trying to get uh, my 1296 step fixed up again here, but this looks like it's going to be a short, short period of time before I can do that. Uh, making plans for uh, Visalia and uh, the DX convention and a lot of other stuff going on. Uh, so good to hear from you and uh, good strong signal here tonight. Uh, AA6S, KW6S. Okay, 
nine uh, bill kws six s and uh, alpha alpha six sugar k six m i c good evening to you tom good signal over here i uh, i was just about to call scott uh, wa six l i e but uh, uh, d d d i mean uh, bill wanted to catch you since he missed you the other night on twelve ninety six so uh, anyway uh, I'm glad that you guys got uh, connected there. Let's see if uh, Scott may be on frequency here. I'm still aimed at him, so. And of course, when I aim at him, you're pretty close to the right heading as well. Very strong signals coming over the hill tonight. KW6S and uh, WA6LIE. Uh, Scott, I wonder if you're listening there this evening. K6MYC in the Bozo Net, over. Hi to Tom. Hey, very good evening uh, there, Mike. Yeah, it looks like the boys got your attention there, so now yeah, finally ending this way. Yeah, good evening to you. Sounding good. Hopefully you don't have to tune too much for the peanut wish later, but, uh, you know, not running big power like the other boys there. So, uh, good evening to you, WA6LI. Yeah, good. A big strong signal at first and then fading out toward the end, but not gone. Q5 all the way. Very good. Good to hear you. And I'm sure you're hearing Tom and vice versa there. Uh, the last two days, I guess, been pretty quiet on 6. I listened a little bit today, but when I, when I did listen, there was nothing going on. I, I, I think it was pretty dead. Is that what you saw, or did you get a chance to look at 6 today? Over. Roger, Roger. Yeah, South America has been dead for about a week. So, yeah, the fans been dead for about a week, Mike. Over no uh, springtime conditions are popping up yet. Go ahead. Okay. Very good. And Tom, same for you. Nothing on six today. Not even a local. I, <laughs> I, I get in there and call CQ on FT8, uh, pointed at. Uh, Australia, Europe, uh, I need a couple of states on uh, New England, and then Caribbean, and then uh, down to South America, and uh, it's just me. Well, you're scaring everybody away. Yeah, uh, for a long time, every time I got on, I got spotted by uh, some station in the uh, in Colorado, uh, but uh, I'm, nearly, I'm not even getting spotted by him anymore. Yeah, that's a real uh, easy skip distance to Colorado. That's the first hop. If it's going to happen at all with the smallest e cloud, you'll get into Colorado. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm sorry. We should have had, I would think, some openings, uh, F2 openings into Europe, but I guess we're just not going to get them. It may be that this cycle we're just not going to get enough to get to that 200 mark for a number of days. Although there's supposed to be some um, CME event uh, today, tomorrow, or Friday, or somewhere in this period. So something may cause six meters to pop and do something different anyway. So you might want to keep an eye on it, even though it sounds like it might be dead. Anyway, good evening to you. Let's see if we've got uh, Scott. I mean, uh, Lee should be on here. KB6 Lima Echo Echo. Lee, are you here? Yeah, I'm going to be gone at least part of tomorrow, but uh, then I'll uh, I'll uh, get keep keep listening to uh, uh, six meters, trying to get a few more countries and a few more states. Hopefully we'll get some more openings before we get into the E season, which doesn't start till uh, early May at the earliest. So we got a little dead period here, but there should be some European stuff. And I know if you're pointed up there and running some smoke at them, they're going to hear you on FT8. So apparently just nothing. Even though propagation on 10 meters has been pretty good to Europe, but uh, it seems like it's just not getting to to Europe on six. Okay, let's look and see if Lee is there. KB6 Lima Echo Echo K6MYC. Lee? Yeah, he must have both antennas down because uh, maybe he'll get the Quaggy up tomorrow for 432. What do you think? I don't know. I haven't heard uh, that much from him. Uh, last I heard, I, I guess it was on here Sunday night, uh, was he thought he would have it uh, up for Thursday night. Maybe he'll check in here before we're done. 
uh, if you if you hear him and he doesn't, uh, if I don't respond to him, you might give me a call in some direction and wake somebody up over here. Yeah, I'll do that, and uh, I'll catch you tomorrow night on 4:32. Yep, look forward to that. Everything's working uh, as well as I can uh, see. Uh, on 4:32, as I said, uh, check the tech meter antenna after that weird day on Monday, and it's perfectly aligned with the with the 20 and 40 meter antenna below it. So, all that weird different direction stuff was just propagation, and that was weird. I'd never seen it so dramatically scattered like it was. Uh, but by the time the end of the evening came, it, it zeroed back in, and I did work uh, Jim, WB6JNN. Even though he was weak, I had to point right at him directly in the normal direction to hear him. So and I thought, well, that's interesting. He's in the right direction, and everybody else was <laughs> coming in in every other direction. So who knows? Anyway, see you tomorrow at um, KW6S, K6MYC in the Bozo Net. Very good. Uh, yeah, maybe Jim was uh, coming in on a on a bounce pass from you for you. Anyway, uh, catch you tomorrow night. K6MYC, KW6S. Okay, here we go into the Bay Area. Just rotating up to the Bay Area now. Bozo net, two meters. Two meter bozo net beaming into the Bay Area, taking check ins. K6MYC. K6MYC. Uh, WB6MYC. Um, WB6WNI. Oh, okay. Hi, Gary. Hang on a second. Here are you also, Russ. K6 uh, KLY. Take it. Hey, Roger, just checking in. Uh, nothing new up here, over. Okay. Uh, let's see, I seemed like I had something for you, but it's not uh, coming to the front. Not uh, anything related to the QSLs or anything, so I don't know what it would be. Anyway, good to, I, I don't know, I was going to ask you if you got your 220 antenna repaired. I know for a while you were broken, and then you sort of had it working a little bit, and you checked in once or twice, but I don't think I heard you on Monday night here. Anyway, uh, is that uh, is that functioning again on 220 or not? Uh, yeah, I have, I have 220. I've been checking in there uh, every once in a while over. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. I just wasn't sure if it was all fixed and 100% back to normal. Very good. Thanks, uh, Russ. And let me shoot it down to Gary there, down the hill from you. WB6WNI. Forgot your number, Gary. K6MYC. Hey, K6MYC from WB6WNI, and the number is 1090. I noticed you haven't added too much after that number, but there's been a few entries, but yeah, near the bottom of the list. Anyway, your the noise level is very low here, and you're, I mean, like crystal clear here, Mike. So I hope you're hearing me okay, but you are, are like fantastic here. And I don't have much either. Um, we went on last Sunday. We had uh, my sister in town. We went out and uh, had a good time. But otherwise, uh, we are back here today. And um, Anyway, I'll turn it back to you. I don't have much more either, except to tell you that you're doing a great job in San Jose. Uh, K6MYC, WB679. Yeah, fine, Gary. Thank you. Yeah, you're strong over to, over here, too. No flutter, no nothing on your signals. But you were, you typically don't have the faulty, the flutter because you're far enough away from those uh, east foothills. So, uh, anyway, good deal. Good copy. No problem. Thanks for the report. And we'll see who else is in here. I'm sure there's others. Bay Area Bozonet, K6MYC. KB6WFC. Wow, you're loud. Uh, thank you. You must have got something working right, uh, Mike. I, I've heard you the last two times you've checked in on the two-meter band. You're just crushingly loud. Have uh, never been like that before, over? I don't know what it is. I turned the right knob, I guess. But, uh, yeah, the peak reading meter is showing almost 600 on the peak. Okay. 
Are uh, you listening to the streaming? I am, and uh, it looks like, uh, I don't know, what the, what's my signal level, five? Oh, no, you're strong. The point is, I was just hearing it in the background. I thought somebody else was trying to call in. Yeah, it looks like about a five from here, Mike. Five what? Oh, signal strength? Yeah, on your meter, Mikey. Uh, okay. <laughs> I can't see my meter. Good evening, Jim. W6PQL, K6MYC. Good strong signal here. Much better than last night. Holy cow, that was all over the place. Yeah, it was. It was not a good night for 1296. Uh, looking for springtime and uh, the beginning of summer, it'll, it should be better. Uh, two meters is noisy, but you're S9 and well above any of that stuff that could possibly get in my way. <laughs> so you're doing well over here tonight. Over. Yeah, good. Everybody's really strong. So we'll see what happens. Sometimes when it's really good to the uh, to the west here. Um, it gets really crappy going up and down the valley. It's been really marginal going up and down the valley. I've had a real tough time with the boys and spreading and stuff. A lot of times they're just easy copy, and I hear them easy as, as well as I do the Sacramento boys. But lately it's just been in and out and fading and distortion and flutter and all kinds of stuff. And weak signals on top of everything else. F signals just fade in and out big time. But we'll see what happens here tonight. KD6SOK, KB6BA, WA6AXX, uh, two or three others, K6MYC. Who else do we have here? AB6SR. AB6SR? <laughs> Why did I forget you? <laughs> I'm easy to forget. Um, as Gary said, you're a lovely signal to tonight. Um, it's not just a strength. The uh, audio quality is superb, Mike, from uh, from your transmission. Absolutely superb. So it's just punchy. Comes straight through. Okay, so I uh, haven't done anything for three days. I'm recovering from a bit of minor surgery, so uh, should be uh, a bit more up and about tomorrow. <laughs> so that's about it from here. Enjoying the weather. Um, wish I felt a little better. Anyway, back to you. K6MYC AB6SR807. Yeah, Roger. Was that the groin, a uh, groin surgery, or, or you had it somewhere else? Yeah, yeah. I had to have a inguinal hernia redone uh, Monday morning. I was in the in the operating room at 7:30. I was back home by 9:30. So uh, felt pretty good. Um, reasonably good and today the uh, body is sort of saying I'm exhausted mate <laughs> it's sort of suddenly my body is uh, some sort of body shock or something I, I was just washed out but I'm feeling good tonight so uh, be, I hope to have a good night's sleep and tomorrow I'll be out walking again as usual back to you yeah very good yeah well you sound a little soft I mean a little quieter but I'm sure you'll feel better tomorrow. Must be the season for uh, for um, hernias, <laughs> hernia repair. Jim W6PQL just had his done last week, and he's uh, he seems to be pretty much on the on the repair trail and pretty much over it by now. I think isn't that right, Jim? Mm, he must have walked to another room. Uh, yeah, I um, I had it done almost three weeks ago, and I'm there he is. pretty normal. And was it three weeks already? Boy, time flies when you're having fun, huh? Some fun. I hear somebody way down in the background here. Who's who's that trying to break in? Try it again, everybody. Put your ears on. Go ahead, the bozo check in. K six M Y C. Go ahead. Go ahead. Stand. I'm pointed away from him at you, and he's in, in the atomic null, so I turned up the uh, the live stream. Anyway, uh, congratulations, Stan. I'm glad you got through it okay. Did you have the um, – I'll talk to you later and find out the details, but I had the uh, the standard procedure that was the old school way where they don't do it with uh, uh, three small incisions around the belly button, but, uh, you know, they opened it up on both sides and did it that way. But I was walking around the same day, and uh, 
And I got away with just uh, one ibuprofen uh, the first evening and uh, a couple the next day, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. After that, I didn't need anything. They gave me some heavy-duty stuff to use, but I never wound up using it. And uh, no discomfort now after three weeks. So hopefully you'll be the same. Um, back to you, Stan, and you can turn back the mic. Go ahead, Stan. I, d I didn't hear anything there. Was that uh, PQL? I mean, you weren't hearing Jim? I'm not hearing Jim at all well this time uh, tonight. Don't know. He's down on the noise level for me. You copy in uh, 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 Stan, okay, uh, P uh, Jim? Yeah, but only on the live stream. I can't hear him direct unless I point at him, and then I'll lose you. Oh, you guys are only about uh, 15, 20 miles apart. I can't believe it. Well, why are you surprised? You've seen this happen before. <laughs> Well, I'm just, uh, anyway, you made all, all kinds of comments. He made all kinds of comments about his uh, operation, and uh, he had it real easy. He just took a couple of ibuprofens, and he was over it. And it was about three weeks ago now, he said, uh, Dan, so that was the bulk of it. He hopes you're uh, feeling better tomorrow. Uh, AB6SR, and then we'll continue. Okay, 6 myc Yeah, okay. Thanks, Jim. Yeah, I, this time around, I only took one Tylenol. Um, the evening after the surgery, uh, same last night, and I haven't taken anything since. So, haven't had any real pain at all. It's just um, just this washed out, exhausted feeling. <laughs> so, maybe that'll be better tomorrow. Hope so. But other than that, uh, not the same pain this time as last time. But yeah, last time wasn't too bad either. Anyway, get on with your net, Mike. Um, that's it from me. K6MYC. AB6SR. Yeah, maybe they turned off your testosterone valve in the process by accident, over. <laughs> could be, if they could find it. Yeah, if they could find it, yeah. <laughs> All right. Take care, Stan. Thanks for checking in. Feel better tomorrow, I'm sure. Yep. All righty. Bay Area, we're still looking for check-ins. Uh, who else we have? AAWA6AXX, you had in there, Ed? Uh, yes, I am. Uh, nothing going on here. Um, we drove over to Santa Cruz, had a nice day uh, before the rains come. K6MYC, WA6AXX. Okay, yeah. Well, I was uh, continuing doing my weeding. I've got the front yard pretty much uh, cleaned up in the area that I was working. And we had miner's lettuce for dinner because I had a beautiful crop and I took some of it and brought it in the house and cleaned it. It wasn't very dirty, but it's got a tiny little root and I rinsed off the roots and, and washed the whole thing and I laid a whole bunch of them uh, out on a, a, a wet uh, wet towel so they would stay fresh and my grandson made us a salad this evening. So, But I, uh, I was on my hands and knees again for the third day in a row pick, picking hundreds and thousands of weeds, I swear to God, <laughs> you go away one day and they're back. I, I pull even the tiniest of weed. If I can even see a thread of a green thing left or beginning uh, underneath the main foliage that you pull off easily, there's usually an under uh, undercurrent of little stuff coming, and I'd like to get that out of there too if I can. My, my God. Every square foot, there must be three or four hundred little seedlings starting, or some big, some small, but man, it takes a long time. Hands and knees. And then for a blind guy, it's really hard, because I, I, uh, I see things differently. Sometimes I think I'm seeing weeds, and I'm not, because my brain makes weeds where there isn't any. Over. Yeah, well, uh, it's enough to have, like, the real weeds. Um, Hey, I think your amp may have dropped out. So you went from 20 over 9 to S5. So, uh... No, nothing happened here. Anybody else Bay Area? Did my key drop? Oh, I know what happened. I bumped the, uh... <laughs> here it is. I bumped the, uh the uh, button again that turns me away. 
I'll come back into the Bay Area again. I'm sorry about that. Sometimes my, my clipboard touches the button and it goes to a different preset and it went up to due north. So I was transmitting right up toward the Nevada boys. Should be back now. Is that better, um, Ed? Yeah, um, yeah, you're back to 20 over 9. Um, so, uh, yeah, doing great. Okay. Well, luckily for you and me, it doesn't matter where we point. I hear you and you hear me almost anywhere. But, yeah, thanks for the heads up on that. I looked at the thing and I what the hell? It's reading 00.00 here. Pointing due north. Yeah, hello. Just want to say, uh, yeah, I, I heard your uh, three days of weeding and uh, looking for little weeds that you can barely see, and um, you're more ambitious than I am, but uh, you don't want to be a weed anywhere near uh, Mikey's property. Go ahead. <laughs> I also found a thistle <laughs> uh, amongst the little weeds, so all of a sudden, I, what, I said, what the hell is this God green, green giant thing growing in here? It was about two feet tall, had a stem on it that was two inches at the base. Unbelievable. Anyway, I got him out. They come out easy. They don't have much of a root system. I can't imagine how they can suck up so much moisture out of the ground and grow so fast. But, uh, man, big one. Anyway, that was my day. I got one more day. I've got a lot of... Uh, uh, foliage pulled down to a point where I'm not going to weed anymore. I can mow from here on down. And uh, I've got to just pick up the weeds that I've got pulled into an area. I was running out of time and, and energy to load all the last batch of weeds into a container and take it down to the burn pile. I did do a two-day, two-barrel load today, but I didn't get the third barrel loaded. I said, screw it, I'm done. <laughs> Anyway, so much for that. Bay Area, back one more time. Anybody else before we go away? K6MYC. KB6BA, we're missing. WB6JNN. Oh, we're missing WB6JNN, but not anymore. Good evening, Jim. Yeah, I was about to call in and you just disappeared. <laughs> Real strange. And I mean, disappeared, disappeared. But you're uh, F8 uh, or so now. Uh, by the way, uh, about Bell. Uh, what was the last comment? Have you heard anything about Bell, K6KBE? Uh, well, he called me. Um, he called me on, on uh, what night did he call me? Last. He called me last uh, Thursday night. And I was uh, walking down. Um, to the tower. That's the day that the wind ripped the cables loose. And uh, no, I haven't heard from him. He just called to check in and say hi. What's what's the word on Mel? Well, he didn't show up uh, on 80 meters uh, yesterday morning. And this morning, uh, the other guys, uh, Richard, has told me that uh, he apparently uh, ended up real confused, and they had him in the hospital for. Uh, for uh, observation uh, today, so I haven't heard anything since then. So that sounds an awful lot like maybe he had a stroke or something to me, but I don't know. Okay, yeah, I got the impression. See, he had just called me a couple of weeks earlier to say hi and how I, am I doing, and he, he, he called me again on the cell phone as I was walking down to the tower. And I said, hi, uh, and he talked to me like I knew who it was. And I said, who is this? He said, oh, this is Mel. How are you? What, what have you been up to? And I said, well, you know, I said, oh, just the normal stuff, Mel. But he had just talked to me about two weeks earlier. So I got the feeling that he was either mixed up or confused a little bit on why he called me. He just gave me the impression like he hadn't talked to me for a year or so over. Yeah, I thought I noticed something like that uh, the last time I talked to him on the air. Well, anyway, that's the, that's the last, last thing I've heard uh, since this morning uh, when I talked to the guys, and uh, I haven't heard any more since then, so I, I'm not so sure what's going on, but it sounds like he might have uh, had some kind of a problem there. All right, anyway, I just thought I'd let you know that, uh, and... Uh, Nothing else going on around here except me. My cat and I had a real nice time sitting on the patio watching the birds at the bird feeders. That's about it. WB, I'm retired. WB6JNN. Okay.
Okay, fine, uh, Jim. Uh, I had a good time with my cats today, too. They were overseeing the weed eating or the weed picking and the weed pulling. And they kept running up and, and crawling under it. Because I'm on my hands and knees, so I'm, you know, I'm down almost at their level. But they will crawl underneath me. And they'll come up underneath my belly and uh, look at what I'm doing with my hands and say hello. And, uh, and then uh, a minute or so of that, and then I pet them a little bit, and then they, they go off and do other things. But they were with me all day. Through off and on through the day, I bet you each one of them visited me at least uh, 10 or 15 times. And at one of them, we wanted to play a little bit. He was wrestling with me and, and clawing me and grabbing my gloves and and uh, biting me a little bit gently with the with the gloves on. So he was he was just having fun. It was a beautiful day for kitties. Thanks, uh, Jim. Good. Uh, Thanks for the update on Mill. I'll, I, I don't know what to do about that one. I'm afraid that that's, uh, he may have had a light stroke or something. I hope it's temporary. I hope it isn't something that's just an ongoing. You know, maybe he's uh, drifting into um, the beginning of the Alzheimer's or, or what we would call uh, dementia. Hopefully that's not the case. Anyway, if you hear anything else, give me a jingle on the phone or or uh, give me a heads up. Maybe I can even get on the band. What uh, what frequency do you chat with his buddies on 80 meters? Uh, 3785, 3785, just below the uh, DX section there. Okay. Well, I I goofed up my 80 meter dipole, but maybe when uh, maybe. Uh, I can put something up here. I've got one a dipole that I can put up temporarily uh, on at, at 20 feet, which will be fine for those guys, and it'll be on top of my hill here. So I can I have a uh, it's a it's a it's a full dipole. It's an element that I used as a reference antenna when I was tuning up the 80 meter beam. So it's a full dipole. It just doesn't have the classic standard coils in it, but I can tune it up and make it work here. So maybe I'll get on 80. There's two or three people that I talk with on other bands, and they say they have another group on 80 that they talk in. So maybe I should get over, get over there and become an old-timer and check in with the old-timers group. But at least I can check in on Mel's group anyway, over. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Really good. All right. Uh, yeah, well, you know you know how they say uh, the guys on uh, 10 meters are 10, 10 uh, years old, the guys on 20 meters are 20 years old, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And when you get to 80 meters, well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm, I'm sorry to hear about Mel maybe having a little issue. Hopefully it's just temporary. Thank you, uh, Jim, for that. WB6JNN, keep me informed. Okay, 6MYC. Anybody else in the Bay Area before we move on here? Okay, nothing heard. Let's go, Russ. Uh, up to you. K6 Echo Romeo Fox, K6MYC. Yeah, good evening, Mike. And that's K6 EDRF. Good signal here tonight. Not terrific. Uh, I'd like some other nights, but it's okay. Of course, you've been doing some weeding and some working down there on the, on the old lawns and the grass, so I can sympathize with you. A6 yards here also. Okay, very good. I hear you uh, also, uh, Gary. KE6QR, K6ERF, just getting both of you written in there. Thank you. And both sounding pretty good. Not super strong here this evening, but um, a perfectly readable, Russ. And hopefully things are are beginning to get more <laughs> to uh, what we would call the, I think you're going to have to call it the new normal, aren't you, uh, uh, Russ? Over. Well, I'll call it something. It's, uh, it's good to have family coming into the house, and it's going to be a lot of fun. But it's going to be extra work, extra expense. And all those things, you know, maintenance will increase and all that. But we'll live with it. And your signal here is, as usual, about 40 over 9. That's not the normal 60 over. We'll have to deal with that. And good evening to you, Gary. Good evening, Russ. Yeah, go ahead, Gary. Take one. Yeah, this is Kilo Echo 6, Quebec Romeo, Gary and Vallejo. And what's going on? My wife and I took our drive over to the Day to Bay today and took about a three-mile walk out on the beach and just kind of relaxed for a while. And I'm here 
experience with some new music. I play the piano at church every Sunday, and uh, my daughter dropped a bunch of new songs on me. So that kind of uh, got a letter, and uh, have them ready to go. But anyway, uh, great signals. Uh, been on 10 meters every day almost, uh, except for today I didn't have time. And uh, oh yeah, I was. I was on 10 meters today. Didn't catch anything. Uh, it was kind of late and pointed towards uh, Japan there. But I've uh, been doing pretty good. So uh, everything's great. And the next time I get back to you, my k 6 come on, I see k 6 Okay, fine, uh, Gary. Okay, on the nice uh, day. It was a beautiful day to do the, just that walk around and enjoy the outside. Uh, Gary, what what are you running for power, and what's the antenna currently? Because you're you're just down lately, and you just haven't uh, got any 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 signal strength. You're right on the noise floor here, which seems like you should do better here. Over. Okay, I, I adjusted the beam just a little bit. Maybe that made a difference. But uh, I'm running uh, 100 watts and a 10 element cut craft uh, at uh, about 46, 47 feet. Geez, it ought to be doing better than that. Holy cow! Yeah, you're uh, you're you're considerably down from Russ. I don't know what Russ is running for power or antennas, but um, sometimes you're close to him, but you have a lot more fading. I think you've got a worse path. Uh, you must have some more obstructions and stuff in the path, but lately you just haven't come up. You're right on the uh, on the border of being Q5. Over. Okay, well, I'm not in the best RF location here. Uh, well, uh, I am kind of at the bottom of a hill, uh, pointing your direction. I, uh, not too many obstructions going that way, but if I point to each, I go right into the side of a hill. So uh, we're kind of stuck with what we got here. Well, you shouldn't be pointing east for me, of course. Uh, um... I'm point roughly at 300 degrees, so if you take one, 180 from 300, what would that be? Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm not pointing due east. No, I point southeast for you. Uh, about 120 degrees is what I point for you. Yeah, well, you, you made a little improvement on the last one when you said you tweaked the antenna. You came up uh, noticeably, but not dramatically. So anyway, I'm, it was Q5 the last couple there. Anyway, it's just uh, I, I've noticed that the Bay Area propagation has been really good, and I come around to you guys in the north part of the bay, northeast part of the bay, and you're just uh, you start getting marginal, and it's been marginal uh, north south from then on, and then it comes back to normal when I work the guys in uh, Nevada. I can't figure that out. Anyway, thanks, Jerry. Good evening to you. Thanks for checking in and uh, enjoy uh, the weekend. Uh, K, uh, uh, KE6QR and the group K6MYC. Okay, thanks, Mike. We're at 1073, so I will be listening to KE6QR. And we'll take it. Just a note, Mike, I run 70 watts here, and my height is uh, 300 feet considering the hill I'm on. You're, you're up 300 feet? About 300 feet, yeah. That's, that's the antenna height and the uh, hill I'm on. Oh, okay, you're on a hill. That makes the difference. And very good. And I hear N1PPP in there. Good evening, Dave. Go ahead, Dave. He's got you. N1PPP, take it. K6QR relay. Yes, he's gone. Yeah, I hear you, Mike, just barely. N1PPP. I can too. Well, you're Q5 here. That's 1,500 watts going your way, KE, uh, K N1 PPP, K6MYC, and I heard you say Kent is there, too. Haven't heard much from Doug. What's Doug doing these days? He hasn't been checking in again. Over. Yeah, he's been busy with other stuff. He's got a girlfriend. Oh, boy. W6GGY, Whiskey Baker, 6 Golf, Golf Yankee, Bozo 884. I hear you, Russ. I mean, uh, 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 Phil, I copy you fine, Phil. Stand by. I'm not quite pointed at you yet. I'm still at about 300 degrees, uh, Phil. You're off about 30, 35 degrees. Stand by, Phil. We got you. Good copy, though. WB6GGY, K6MYC. Thank you, uh, Dave. And I've got uh, you and uh, Kent checked in. Thanks much. K uh, n one ppp K6MYC. Over. Yes, you're up to S3 now. Very good. Uh, thank you very much. N1 PPP. Yeah, well, I wasn't quite pointed at you either. I was pointed still down toward uh, uh, Oakley and Discovery Bay, so. 
I didn't have you right in the crosshairs, so, so to speak. Thanks, uh, Dave. Good to hear you. Hope all is well up there. N1PPP, K6MYC, now standing by for November 6th Radio Oscar. Okay. Hang on a second, Dennis. Let me get... Uh Okay. Um, let me see. Uh, N6RO, N6 Radio Oscar. Are you here, uh, Ken? Ken's missing. Uh, N6SSW. Uh, How about you, uh, Steve? Okay, Steve's still on a trip or something. Okay, nothing from either one of those guys at the moment here. Very good. Up to you, Dennis. Uh, let me get the antenna more towards Sacramento here. There you go. WB6, ISO, K6MYC. Yeah, very pretty. Good evening, Mr. Mike. WB6, ISO, Bozo 86, had a nice signal. Here at 15 to 20 over at 9. A very nice condition this evening. Over. Yeah, very good. Good to hear you got everything running again. I know it's uh, quite of a quite a quite an expense, quite a hassle for you there. How far do you live from uh, from Bill's place, uh, KO6 KD? Well, let's see, I would have to think by the cruise. Um, I'd say probably could, it's got to be at least 15 miles, maybe. You go from Rio Linda, you got North Highlands, then you got Citrus Heights. And then you're going to try to get over to the Roosevelt area. So, yeah, it's probably a good 10, 15 miles, I guess, somewhere around that area. Yeah, okay. Well, we're trying to get Bill on uh, 1296. He, I sent him up an antenna, but he hasn't had anybody up that's been able to get up on the roof and mount it. Uh, but we'll talk to him in a minute here and see if he's uh, if he's heard from N6RZJ, who thinks he can probably get down there. Anyway, I just thought I'd ask, and maybe you could uh, uh, climb up if if nobody else could do it. Maybe you can climb up on his uh, roof and mount the thing in a fixed position off the side of the tower pointed at me here over. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see if we can send them over there. Um, let me ask you real quickly, so there is there quite a bit of activity on the 1296, or? Uh, I missed the question about 1296. Yeah, yeah, your uh, your signal's had a little bit of a fade. Um, no, I was just wondering, is there much activity on 1296 over? Oh yeah, yeah, we're getting uh, we get more check-ins on 1296 than we do on 222 lately, over. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, if there is, what I'll do is I'll put a search out. But they do make a 1296 module for the 970 Alpha here. I've got everything else in here except that one. So I'll see if I can find a 1296 uh, for this particular radio. Then uh, once I find one, I'll get a hold of you and maybe uh, we get some fixed up on some antennas over. Yeah, that'd be good. Get you on here on uh, on that band. Uh, Bill has a uh, one of the new ICOM 9700s, which has two meters, 432, and 1296. And the point is, you're you're buying a fairly fairly expensive but nice radio, but not to have anything on 1296 be, and still have that radio with the, the most coveted band <laughs> is kind of silly. But uh, anyway, we're trying to get Bill on. So we'll talk to him here in a few minutes. He may be hearing us on this conversation. So let's see. I missed him this morning on 40. I got up late. I overslept. So. Hello. Oh. Okay, what's the work? Well, I had the, uh, the, the, the new radio here. It just, I could not use it because of the paper on the 432. It just kept wipe, wiping it out completely. And here on the 970, it doesn't seem to, uh, to affect it as nearly as bad. So I had to get rid of that radio in this area. I just uh, couldn't couldn't use it uh, for that one particular reason. But we'll, uh, we'll look on how many ways to find one of the models for this home. We might be able to get something fixed on there. We still have been looking for a, a, a 220 all mode, so I've been able to find one of those neither. But we're still searching. You never know what comes across. Okay, well, thank you much, uh, Mike. You got to find these in there, and I'll let you out of the way so I won't get all the bill. I did talk to uh, Richard over there in uh, Nevada a little bit earlier, and I think he's making some progress. Thank you. Take care, and I'm always nice to hear you. WB6 ISO. 756. Golf, golf, Yankee. Okay. 756.
six. We hear you. Uh, uh, hang on a second, uh, uh, Darren. WB6GGY, are you copying me now, uh, Phil? Uh, WB6GGY. Uh, the antenna is only about uh, 15, 20 feet off the ground, but uh, we're on the new transverter. And also, come here, uh, Greg. Uh, we also have another check in here. <laughs> Here's uh, Greg. He's still over here helping me put this uh, all on the air. WA6HA, 1013, Mike. Yeah, very good. Uh, good evening, uh, Greg. Thanks for the help there. I'm surprised you guys got it done as quick as you did there, but very good. And uh, good signals over here, and I've been responding, but I haven't gotten pointed at you yet. I'm still coming up your way, but I'm still not pointing at Phil's location there, so it'll get a little bit better if you can hang in there for another couple of minutes. We're almost done with Sacramento here. Over. We'll stand by. Roger, roger. KD, are you here? Yeah, yep, I, uh, I'm here. Uh, just, uh, just standing by. Good evening, Dennis. And that'd be cool, Dennis, if you could get on 1.2. I, uh, I think you'd be a slam dunk, uh, a straight shot uh, down there to, uh, to Mike. But uh, anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm just here, uh, just trying to stand by. And I heard you say you were late uh, this morning. I was talking to Bob until, oh, I guess about 8:30, and then we said, well, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up because nobody else showed up, and um, so that. Uh, that's the end of that. So um, uh, he said he would be in tomorrow. So maybe uh, maybe you'll have somebody to talk to you tomorrow. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry I missed you. I uh, I didn't get in the shack till nine. No, that's fine. I uh, I barely got my uh, myself uh, in here this morning as well. And, I'm, I'm back to uh, going, uh, sliding back uh, the, the wrong direction, going back downhill again. So, yeah, there's going to be some days I'm going to be missing stuff because I just ain't going to feel like it. Oh, bummer. Now, listen, uh, didn't you just have your 65th birthday? Can't you, uh, aren't you eligible for some other uh, treatment now? I said, I think you just turned 65, and I said, aren't you eligible for some other treatment now, a new a new uh, uh, match of Medi-Cal or something like that? And I wonder if you ever made the call to uh, Anthem, over. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, I should look into seeing if there's something I'm available for. The problem is just getting there. Um, I'm not able to, and, uh, you know, I, I'm not able to put on clothing to get over to the uh, to see a doctor if they want me to come by and, uh, and talk to them. So anyway, it's, it's a long story, and um, yeah, it's just it's just one of those things. Uh, I'll be here today and maybe gone tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. But uh, uh, 776 checking in. John is also standing by, and so I don't want to uh, leave him out uh, before it gets too late. So uh, I'll say 7-3 for now, and we'll look for you uh, tomorrow morning if, uh, if I'm able to make it all right. Yeah, Roger. Well, I'll try to be there more. Uh, see, 9 o'clock is what old 8 o'clock used to be. My body clock and, and all is still on the 8 o'clock uh, of the old 8 o'clock before we shifted. So uh, I'm exactly on time, but I'm an hour late. Well, you know what? We can shift it to 9 o'clock if you. Uh, uh, if that works fine for me. I don't know about Bob. Uh, but see if uh, maybe Bob wants to, uh, to to be there at nine o'clock. That that would be fine for me too if you want to do that. Well, I I really wanted to be there this morning. I had a whole bunch of stuff that I wanted to kick around with him because it was some some things that happened that I thought I'd get his take on, and yours too for that matter. So I'm sorry I missed everybody. I called a few times on uh, on uh, 137, but I heard nobody, so I just uh, gave it away. Anyway, sorry we missed you. Uh, let's see here. I'm 
KR6MR. We should be pretty close to your direction, uh, John. KR6MR, K6MYC. Uh, good evening, Mike. K6MYC. CKR6MR Bozo 759. Good copy. Over. Okay. KR6MR. Boy, we struggled with you. I guess you finally, you were on 1296 last night, but we never heard a peep. I didn't hear a single thing, and finally I got some message, I think, from from uh, N6R said Jay that he had finally hooked up with you and was hearing you over. Yeah, yeah, I talked with Dan. I also talked with Paul. Um, uh, RZJ came in pretty good. I was quite happy with the contact. I didn't hear you. I called and called till uh, I got sore in the throat. Over. Okay, I don't know why I wasn't hearing you. I didn't have any noise, I didn't have any issues, and the preamp's working well. I'm hearing other very weak signals. So I don't know why I didn't get a peek on your signal, but just nothing that I could recognize. I couldn't even copy Paul when I got up that way. The propagation just went really south on us. He was S6, S7 coming out of the Bay Area, but direct path was terrible last night, over. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, I have tried uh, bouncing off the Bay Area, and uh, I don't hear anything in that direction except um, N6RO, I think it is. Uh, last night he was coming in, uh, I guess, 10 over. Yeah, okay. Now he's in Oakley, uh, and you probably should, you, you'll hear also W6SSW, but he just hasn't been home. He's on a trip or something. He's been gone for a week, but uh, he's got a pretty good signal. Doesn't run the power. He has to turn the antenna, but he's, when he turns at you, you'll hear him for sure. It works very well. So, and I'm, I think you've worked, uh, Steve, before. W6 Sugar Sugar Whiskey. Anyway, very good. Let me uh, let me do one more thing here. Let me go toward Reading and get those guys in, and I can go up toward uh, Twain Hart and uh, see if we can get uh, direct path signal. From uh, Phil, he's finally got his tra two meter transfer transverter going. I think you're probably hearing Phil up there, WB6GGY. And uh, he's got a, a little seven element uh, M squared Yagi at about 20 feet, so it's, it's working quite well. I heard him even when I had the antenna down south, but it uh, wasn't readable at that point. But I've read him, I read him every time he checks in now. Yeah, I'm just making them stand by. <laughs> Got lots of check-ins here at this in your direction. 7-3 for now, uh, uh, John, and maybe we'll f have better luck with you uh, um, um, on 432 than we did on 1296 last night. 7-3, KR6MR, K6MYC. Okay, Redding, Redding. See if we got anything going to Redding here. Redding, Redding, Redding. Somewhere in this area, we should hear Redding. Redding, Redding, Charlie, November 80, KD6 Sugar Whiskey, KD6 SW, K6MYC, over, over. Well, yeah, top of the evening there to you, K6MYC, KD6, shortwave, Redding, number 145, uh, entering in for uh, the sign-in here. Yeah, very loud. All of a sudden, you scared me. You're louder than all the Sacramento stations here. So who knows? I never can tell about this band. Let's see if Jerry's in there while we're up on a peak. KO6HS, K6MYC, Bozo. KO6HS 230, up is not, not quite the peak, but uh, we're still up there and uh, hopefully making it down that way over. Yeah, good copy, Jerry. Five best signals I've heard from you guys in two or three weeks here. So finally getting some uh, some better conditions here. Hope everything's well with you guys up there. Uh, we have had beautiful sunny weather here and been doing a lot of uh, weed pulling and, and yard work and all that kind of stuff. Sunny until uh, this weekend. We're expecting a little bit of rain. Hopefully you'll get some as well. KO6HS with KD6SW, K6MYC. Well, 
know, you took a fade. <laughs> and I lost the last half of that. Anyway, 73 is uh, Jerry, 73, and I'll shoot it back up to Rich for any comment that he may be able to fill in. KD6SW, sopping wet, but not yet. K6MYC. And it's way down again, huh? KD6SW, KD6, uh, KD6SW. K6MYC. K6MYC calling and listening. I hear the whistler. Who is that? Who is the whistler identified? Roger, uh, Richard, we'll be right there in a minute. Just hang in there, Richard. KD6BQ. Uh, K6MYC. We've got you, Richard. Okay. Yes, we've lost Redding. Let me see. Anybody else before we go north? How about KW6T? Nothing from Russ. Anybody else? Uh, AJ6 Queen Lima? Okay. Uh, N6RZ J? Yes, we've cleaned out the Sacramento area. Sacramento, last call, K6MYC before I go to Nevada. WB6GGY before you run, run to Nevada. Well, I'm not uh, pointed at you. Now I'm going to come up and point at you. Give me some chatter and I'll peek on you, uh, Phil. All righty, WB6GGY, Bozo884. And you uh, have kind enough to uh, come back and uh, help me uh, with the uh, system here. I just want to say hi. Go ahead, Mike. Holy moly, Ken. You sound great. Uh, you sound pretty darn good yourself. Uh, we're on uh, uh, an antenna of uh, seven elements, and it's about 15 feet off the ground right now. Well, you sound good. You're about an S7 or 8, something like that. Yeah, that's exactly what you're doing in here. So we'll get the antenna up on the tower, and it should be even better yet. Well, it's good to hear you here on two. You betcha. Good to hear you, my friend. Fine, Phil. Well, you're down for me. It's uh, actually weaker than when I was hearing you when you were pointed toward Sacramento or when I was in Sacramento. But I, I heard you strong. It's just QSB. There's a lot of path fade up and down on you. But I'm, that may be helped a, a bit when you get the antenna up higher. So at, uh, whenever Greg gets over there to get that done, that would be uh, probably uh, really good. But I know you're running about 150 watts, so you're doing good power-wise. And uh, the antenna should uh, perform well for you. And obviously it is for Ken, but it's not getting anywhere near an S-meter movement for me here. So it's, uh, it's going somewhere, but it ain't going here tonight. Over. Well, it will help if we get a little bit higher and get it out of the trees. Uh, yeah, it's funny because I'm going all the way from 325 to 345 to 20 degrees, and I can't get any significant peak. You seem to come up a little bit, and then you fade back down. I move the antenna, you come up a little bit, but I think it's just more band fade than anything. So I'm getting a very diffused signal from you, not your normal signal that uh, has pinpoint. I can usually beam right at you and know where it's going to be, but it's diffused tonight. But anyway, welcome to the club. <laughs> and welcome to the two-meter bozo group. And very, very good to hear you. The, the radio sounds really excellent, just uh, as good as it does on six. Uh, so as it should, that transverter is working very well for you. Thank you, Phil, and thank you, Greg, for all your extra effort uh, uh, helping Phil get this thing on the air uh, finally. Uh, 
lot of effort, uh, but I appreciate your uh, your help with that. Uh, WA6HNA and the group K6MYC. Okay, here he comes. <laughs> Camped out over in Phil's easy chair there, Mike. Oh, uh, K6 MYCW, AJ. Um, I think that the bearing from here to you, is, or from you to us, would be 335 degrees. So that's, that's uh, what I got off of QRZ. But uh, anyway, you're sounding good here, and you're pushing about, uh, there's, there's actually a lot of QSP, but anywhere from like S4 to S7 here on a, on a pretty regular basis. So anyway, thanks for. Uh, Taking our call, and uh, it's good to see Phil on the air on two years. K6 NYC, WA6A today, Bozo 1013. Yeah, well, it's such a big difference. Uh, his signal, uh, you know, even though he runs some power sometimes on six, it's such a huge difference. Phil is so strong, no matter where I point, I hear him everywhere on, two, on, two, on six meters that I'm surprised that two meters isn't uh, pretty much the same. But it may be that it may be that it's just not on the tower yet. Uh, I think that's going to make the difference, hopefully, because it just does not want to come up. It gives me every indication that uh, you're in Placerville or something, and you're you're behind a hill. That's exactly what it sounds like to me. The trees notwithstanding. So there you are. Anyway, I'm so happy that you were able to get help, uh, get Phil helped out, and get him on the air here. And uh, there will be other days that will be better, I'm sure. Can't be any worse than tonight, I'm surprised. 73s, guys, K6MYC, uh, and I'm going to Nevada. All right, good night, Mike. wa 6 from 73. It's funny, uh, Ken, the signal just getting weaker and weaker. Every transmission they come back, it's weaker. So I'm just losing the path. Apparently, yeah, he's strong here. He went up to an, almost an S9. At the end there, he's about an S7, but it was pretty stable. It wasn't wandering around, so it's just the path. Yeah, I'm wandering all over looking for him. I went all the way down to 325 and came up a couple of degrees at a time, thinking I'd find a little bump in there. Nothing, nothing, nothing. No change. I just can't get him to come up. It's just diffused. It's the same signal strength for about 30 or 30 degrees here almost over. Okay, well, I've got right dead out 340 anywhere else, and he goes down. So I've got peak deck exactly where he should be for here. Yeah, well, it's pretty close to 340 for me, too. That's kind of when I first heard him. That's where he was peaking at 3. I had it at 340 to 338, 338 to 340, which would be closer for me. I'm a little bit north of you. So we're on the right heading. I know it's where he is, so I just uh, it just uh, surprised me. All right, let's go up to Nevada and get those guys before they give up completely. Okay, I'm heading for Nevada now. WA6OIB. Yeah, you're pretty loud, Stanover. Who was that? Oh, that was uh, Richard, I think. KD6BQ? Yeah, WA6OIB, KD6BQ. You're pretty loud there tonight. You're doing pretty good. A little louder than my kids right now, over. Yeah, same price. He's down here. Yep, yep, you sound good here. You're about S5 there, uh, Richard. K86BQ, WA6OIB, 249. I have to take that lead screen hanging in front of the antenna down, and maybe it'll be better. You think? I can't believe it. Just It's just really pukey. It's been that way for the last couple of weeks. You're up right now. No, not really. You're you're down, but uh, it's it's re it's readable. I'm getting readability on you. I just don't have very much signal strength. Did Larry uh, did Larry ever come up uh, and get alive over? Yeah, negative on Larry. Negative on Larry. I, I talked to him on the phone, and uh, he is ill, and he's got some bad chili or something, and he's been uh, been sick for the last couple of days. So he said uh, he can't get too far from the porcelain, so he's not feeling good over. Okay, sorry to hear that. Can't get too far from the porcelain. My goodness. Go ahead, Ken. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, my goodness. That's too bad. Well, maybe uh, maybe next week he'll be back up and running. So, all right. Well, tell him hello for us. Yeah, I'll tell him you guys said hello and uh, tell him to stay away from the bad chili. <laughs> Is that what did it? Yeah, Roger that. I think it is his wife.
just brought it to him to make matters even worse. So, poor guy, he's, uh, he's been having a tough time. But I did talk to him on the phone, and uh, he, he sounded, you know, like, well, he says, I'm sort of getting better, but I still can't get too far from the throne. Well, that's too bad. I know what he's what he's like, though. So, oh well. <laughs> well, maybe next week. All right. Well, good to hear you. Uh, good signal, Richard. WA six O I B. Yeah, thanks, Ken. You're doing well up here too. Yeah. Okay. Seven three, Richard, and uh, give our best to Larry, as we said, and uh, hopefully next week. Well, we'll look for you on 432 tomorrow night. If we can copy your 5 watts, and I don't know why we're not copying you stronger on 2 meters, I'm always surprised that with the antenna laying on the fence down low at, and 5 watts that we can hear him on 432, Ken. It's amazing. <laughs> He's as good on 432 as it is here right now on 2, uh, Ken. Over. Roger, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, I'm, I keep hoping to get out here on Thursday nights, but it's it's always been it, the last few weeks has been really busy, so I've got to I've got to do what I got to do to keep things rolling here. Yeah, well, I guess you've been working on taxes and other stuff. Well, some wife projects mainly. Okay, the stuff you can't get done before dark. Well, <laughs> before dark, I'm doing other things, yeah. Uh, plus, we started a new project up at Meadow Lake, so I'm going to be quite busy up there. i got to move two big uh, four-and-a-half-meter satellite dishes and, and put up another new dish. So I'm basically doing uh, three new dishes up there. So that's going to be a, a big project. you got help for that, though, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Beckman's helping me. Uh, Beckman's helping, and then... Um, uh, Alvin Gokey is doing the uh, the heavy electrical stuff, so uh, I got help, but I mean I got to be there to you know to make things sure things go right. No, 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 I understand. Okay, well, very good. Well, I think we're done for the evening here, except to go down and see if we can get Eddie. Uh, Rob, you've been awfully quiet tonight. I'm just listening. Cam six SR. He should be studying. Oh, I did that a little earlier today, so uh, I'm resting. All right. Good night, Richard. Seven threes. Seven three, Richard. Okay, I'm turning toward Eddie. Yeah. Yeah, I got back late after the 10-meter net there. I got a call from New Zealand, and after I talked to him and gave him some information he was looking for, the guy from Australia called me, so <laughs> that's why I was late getting back. So what do you got going with these guys? Well, the guy in uh, in New Zealand wants to get in touch with Dennis Thompson, um, uh, OTR stuff, and, uh, uh, <laughs> and, the, and the guy in New Zealand wants my QSL card. Oh, really? On what, six? Australia. Yeah. On six? No, this is on ten. Oh, my God. I can't believe he's only excited about a, a W6 contact on ten meters. Well, I think it's. I think he, he, he saw the grid and the county is what he's looking for. Oh, I got you. Anyway, I got two calls right after the net, so <laughs> and they were both the good, good solid signals. Oh, and the guy in Australia is running 10 watts, and he was he was a, a good solid S8, seven to eight, and uh, on 10 watts, not bad. Yeah, so you weren't. <laughs> I got the feeling that you were getting these calls on the phone, but no, you were on 10 meters already, so you were just hearing them on 10. I'm sorry, I got it now. Well, they heard me on the net, and, uh, and they were listening to the net, and they heard some of the guys, and and uh, he said I was the loudest, so he called me. Of course, I'm running a kilowatt with a vertical at 100 feet on on, on the 10 meter net. Yeah, that radiates pretty pretty uh, far in in all directions, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, well, let's see. I'm down at Eddie. So do you want to give Eddie a call, Rob? Sure. Uh, KE6BK, Eddie, you on tonight for the uh, two meter both on that? KM6SR with K6MYC and WA6OIB. Standing by. Eddie, KE6BK, you on tonight? N6RO. N6RO, we hear you off the back of the beam, Ken. Good evening. Good evening, Ken. Yeah, hi, Ken. Mike. 
860835. Wonderful weather today. And uh, nothing much more to report. Yeah, well, you were obviously in a Zoom meeting or having dinner. Uh, no, I, uh, it's the Wednesday night sprint uh, where I don't have access to the uh, rotator. Oh, is that what it is? Okay. No worries, we hear you. We did check in, and of course Steve's not home yet, so you would have been the only one that we we uh, called but missed, over. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, I don't know his plans either, so we'll find out when he does return. Uh, yeah, the, uh, uh, the sprint goes from uh, 8 to 9, so at 9 o'clock I grab the beam and turn it on you. I'm just going to pass something on to you. I don't know how well you knew Mel, K6KBE, or whether you talk with him on any of the the 80-meter uh, uh, frequencies. He's down on 3785 in the mornings, I think. But I got a disturbing call from Jim, Jim WB6GNN, and said that uh, Mel was in the hospital. He was. Uh, they took him in for observation. He seemed to be confused. He sounds like he's having a he had either had a little stroke or he's uh, he's in the first stages of dementia. He called me the other day like he hadn't talked to me for a year or so, and I had just talked to him a couple of weeks earlier, and I asked him about two meters, and he always said, "Oh, it's just, I'm so busy, I can't get on." And you know, he's just sitting there, but he never gets on. I think he forgets. I think he's uh, he's having a little issue. So you might uh, I don't know if you knew me all over. Oh uh, no, I don't. Didn't know him, but the call is uh, rings a bell. Well, he was the uh, L of KLM. Oh, okay. Anyway, uh, he lives up uh, about. Uh, he's up in the foothills, Grass Valley area, somewhere up that way. I see. Well, uh, for it here that he's having problems, I guess it's. Yeah, he's like us, same same window. All right, I just thought I'd mention it in case you hadn't had any uh, re recollection of Mel. I'm sure you met him at a show or something sooner or later, but anyway, no problem. 7-3, Ken, and we'll see you tomorrow night on 432, hopefully uh, together at, uh, at the right times. Over. Yeah, I'll, I'll try, but uh, my uh, antenna on 432 is still waterlogged. And uh, SWR is uh, approaching infinity, but <laughs> you may be able to hear me when they're both pointed at each other with my 20 watts. Okay. Well, I'll do my best. I'll keep my big ears on. I'll put the elephant ears on for you. Over. <laughs> okay. It's also a busy night uh, with, with two Zoom meetings uh, and a, uh, a special uh, guitar concert I got to watch, but uh, it's normal. It's always busy around 8 to 9 here. Okay. Well, have fun. If we hear you, we hear you. Take care, and uh, we'll see you uh, over uh, on the on the Sunday night after the uh, weekend. Hopefully it, uh, it won't rain uh, too much uh, more on you before you get that uh, 432 fixed. Although I don't think that's in the, uh, in the cards until after Hector gets there. Is that right? No, we're just going to let it dry out. Um, hopefully, it, last year it took two months to dry out. Uh, and Hector won't mess with that little erectoset mask I have. Uh, okay. Well, whatever. If we hear you, we hear you. Take care. 7-3, and uh, we'll uh, wrap the net, net up here. One more call for Eddie down there. KE6VK, uh, Eddie, I wonder if you're in there tonight or anybody else up and down the San Joaquin Valley for late checks or missed. Hold on a second. Okay, go ahead, Ken. Well, I meant to, <laughs> I was telling Ken to hang out so you can listen for Eddie. Go ahead and listen for Eddie. I'll be right. Hang on a second, Ken. Yeah, no, no, go ahead. Eddie doesn't appear to be there. Go ahead, Ken. Finish up with Ken. Okay, a couple of questions, Ken. Are you going to be at uh, coming down here for the uh, DX convention? Uh, no, I don't, I don't travel well these days, but uh, I'll try to keep tabs on it. Oh, okay. Well, the second question's been answered then. I guess you're not going to Dayton either. No, not for sure. Okay, all right. I'm just wondering, trying to get a window so I can meet you. Well, we could, hopefully we can arrange that sometime. 
Yeah, well, we're, we're, we're thinking of trying to get a road trip and go up there and see you. So. <laughs> I might grab up Mike and, and take the DeLorean up and, and, uh, and come up and see you. A DeLorean? My God. <laughs> That's my project. That's what I've been working on for the last few years. Got it all back together and running, and it's in, it's in beautiful shape. Now I'm just doing some uh, some, some special things to it. So it'll, it, it's got to be ready for the Clovis Parade next month, so I'm getting it out of the shop pretty quick. <laughs> like to see that. Well, you know, we could do a Zoom meeting uh, between uh, uh, Fresno and here. Yeah, we could. You could. I'd... <laughs> I've been done enough of those over the last few years with my work and all, but <laughs> it's not quite the same. Yeah, I understand. And uh, I have to do some special things to show you the farm, the Antonio farm. <laughs> but Zoom is keeping me, uh, keeping me hopping uh, between my uh, my own team. We have a Zoom meeting on every Thursday night, and the NCCC has a Zoom once a month. Brothers from 65 years ago in college, so it's my support group. Well, there you go. Yeah. Well, yeah, I've got a group of, of, uh, of college buddies. We we get together for lunch once a month, and uh, that's always fun. And that hasn't been quite that many years ago. It's been well, it's been 55 years anyway. Goodness. Oh man, I'm getting old. Oh, okay. I was 65. There you go. Okay. All right. We'll let you go. Good to talk to you, Ken. That was your A6OIB. Yeah. Here, here's loud as my joint. Good night, Ken. If we see you tomorrow on 432, we'll stand up and cheer. Sync 73, K6MYC. Yeah. I'll, I'll give it a try. Okay. Good night, Ken. Good night, Rob. Good night, Erin, uh, uh, um, um, if you're still listening over there. I'm sure you are. Good night, Erin. Oops, I think we doubled. Good night, Erin. Yeah, you got to give me a second to get to the microphone. Right, yeah. And I, 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 I paused and then I jumped on it. Hey, um, we're still having some problems, I guess you know, on the repeater. Which one, the, uh, the, uh, the the club repeater? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's doing its trick again. It's uh, just in the middle of the day, it'll quit for a while and then come back all by itself. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, because it, it did cut out on the net on Sunday for a couple minutes and then came back. So, yeah, it's yeah, doing it's wonky things again. That's right. Yeah, it is. And uh, I've got a new transmitter. I'm going to try and put it in next week. Um, so um, it's 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 new and been tested and all that good stuff. So um, I'm thinking that's the problem. I'm hoping that's the problem. That's where, where the issue seems to be. But anyway, it'll be back up to the snuff by next week. We'll see if it hangs in there. All righty. Good deal. Hey, Ken, any of those little pieces I... Gave you at the club meeting, uh, fill in any of your open gaps and parts? Well, I haven't got to it yet. The box is still sitting right there my <laughs> next to my workbench. I haven't even opened the thing. I've just had so much going on, uh, things, you know, fixing things and whatnot for various people. So a stream of people in and out of here want stuff fixed. So uh, I talked to Robert today, and that package hadn't come yet. So he's expecting it. You know, he knows about it and all that. But uh, uh, we, we talked about that. I've got my uh, got my reservations for uh, my flight reservations for Dayton and stuff. I'm just very sad that you're not going to be there. We're <laughs> I'm going to have to uh, eat more of those sandwiches for you. Yeah. All right. Pack one. Uh, pack one up and bring it home. <laughs> Well, they lose something, I think, after <laughs> when they're reheated. But anyway, well, maybe you'll change your mind. I don't know. We're all hoping anyway, because uh, you really do a lot for the booth. You really, you know, bring bring it to life. And uh, also, uh, with just the three of us, we're, we're going to have to stick around, and I won't be able to do a whole lot out, out there in the hinterland. 
Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Maybe when you uh, bring that, uh, have a, one of those sandwiches, just bring me the bone home. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have any dog. Oh, but I can smell it. Oh, okay. I got. Yeah, that would be good. <laughs> I'll wrap it up. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, good night, and uh, everybody else. Uh, seven three W A six O I B. Going back inside. I'm gonna uh, keep working on my taxes. Hey Ken. Hey Ken. You one for me too. K M six S R. Guys, I have a pizza uh, gathering. Uh, I think Saturday night. Double with you a little bit, Ken. Say it again from the beginning. If they, uh, if you get with a company, you guys double. They have a pizza, a um, pizza party uh, late at night, one one of the nights. Oh, uh, where is this at? At Dayton. Oh, at Dayton. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now I know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, that's fun too. I think I've been to it once. I went to, to uh, Dayton. But that, that was the thing I enjoyed the most. <laughs> Yeah, well, we, we have various meetings and this and that and dinner things, and we'll always have a good time. It's just that uh, uh, Mike's always been there, and and, uh, and uh, the booth gets pretty busy without him. Yeah, I, I bet it does. So I hope uh, you can drum up a lot of business. Uh, good night, all, and 6 Righto. Right oh, thank you, Ken. WA6OIB. Northern Clovis. Oakley. What was that, Rob? East Oakley. Hey, Ken, I was just saying that. Eat one of those sandwiches for me, too, KM6SR. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're not going to go this year then, either? No, that was kind of a one-time shot. They're uh, kind of expensive for my uh, blood, over. <laughs> you didn't get enough goodies coming back, huh? Well, I did get some goodies, but uh, one of them is that radio that I don't think is working, so uh, I kind of got a little bit taken on that one over. Oh, what radio is that? The Yesu uh, FT-857. Uh, oh, what's the matter with that now? Well, I tried using it on one of the income things for one of the bicycle rides, and uh, it didn't want to work right. And uh, it's funny, the, the squelch, you turn it down, you can hear something. So it, it's just, it's not like my other 857. Something's the matter with it, over. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, interesting. Yeah, I've got an 857 sitting right here. I'm looking at it. And I, I use it for, for um, you know, simple stuff and whatnot. That's kind of a utility radio, but it works great, so I've got all the manuals and stuff for it, and I work on those things, so maybe we can fix it for you, so if there's something wrong with it, we ought to be able to fix it. Yeah, I need to put it in place of this one and see if it was just something to do with my power supply or something like that, but the one I got on my uh, studio here, my shack, works really good, and that's, that's one of my main radios there, over. Oh, so you have two 857s? Yeah, FT-857. It's uh, the one that uh, you loaned me some uh, money, 100 or something, and Mike loaned me 100 because I didn't quite have enough to buy it from the guy over. Right, and that, you've never got that working right, huh? Oh, I didn't use it for a while, and then I tried using it on an income event, and that's when I noticed it was acting funny, over. Oh, okay. We better take a look at that. I mean, my goodness. Yeah, well, all three of us were, were in, in on that to, to, to yeah, I think we talked you into getting it, so I feel responsible to fix it now. No, 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 no. I was interested because it was the same as one I already had, so I wouldn't have to learn something new. But uh, I just didn't plan to uh, have that need that much cash. So, yeah, you guys helped me out. I appreciate that. Over. Yeah, okay. Well, the only thing that went wrong with mine is the readout went bad, and I got a new readout. Uh, other than that, the thing's been fine. Uh, I guess your readout's okay. Yep, it's working good on both of them. Yeah, that's uh, famous. They're famous for those readouts going out. But uh, anyway, you know, I've got mine used too. I don't know where I got the thing. I can't remember now on a trade or something. But anyway, <laughs> all right. Uh, but excuse me, if I can help you with it, we'll uh, we'll try and get to get the thing going for you. I don't want I don't want you to be with me without a, a, a have a radio that doesn't work. That's no good. Yeah, I appreciate it. I, I need to do a little uh, diagnostic testing on it to see uh, if I'm mistaken or if it really uh, is a problem and find out what, what, you know, how to explain it and make it happen again, over. 
Right. Oh. Okay. Well, decide what you're going to do with it there, and then let me know. So if I can help you with it, I sure will. All right. All right. Good night. Good night, Mike. Good night, Ken. Good night, Rob. Good night, uh, Mrs. McGillicuddy, wherever you are. WA6OIB. Good night, Kim. Good night, all. Good night, Ken. Hey, Mike, uh, I had a question for you. Uh, one of the guys that you talked to, you said was loud, and it was the person right before Jim, uh, PQL, that you were talking to. I didn't get the call sign over. Um, KB6 Whiskey, Foxtrot, Charlie, Mike, 775. Okay, got it. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, you said he was loud. I couldn't even hear him, so I didn't know what was going on. Anyway, okay, we'll say uh, 73 is Mike, uh, K6MYC, KM6SRR. Yep, good night, Rob. Good night, Aaron. Yep, good night, guys, and uh, we'll catch you on 432 tomorrow night, K6USY, DMO6. Sounds like a plan. Good night, Aaron, K6USY, uh, KM6SR, 73.